Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video and this is the review to my blind commentary blind reaction to Teen Titans Season 5 Episodes 8 through 10. The third to last reaction to Teen Titans and the penultimate reaction to Season 5 because we are down to really, I mean, the, the, the kind of double finale so to speak. We have the final three episodes of the show, and then we have the movie. Um, those final two reactions should both be really hype, and I'm really excited for both of them. Hopefully you guys are excited for both the season five finale and the movie. In this set, we got episodes eight to ten of season five, which were pretty spicy. We got some Jinx focus, as well as the introduction of Kid Flash, who I imagine both of which will probably have their role to play in the finale, but certainly I, I definitely expect Kid Flash to probably appear in the in the whatever finale they do. Um, that was a really cool episode. We had the stuff with... <clears throat> we had the stuff with... Um, I don't even know. What the... Whatever. Uh, I'll get to it in a second. But the point is, is that... Links are down below in the description. Megan breached the time this video is um, initially released, being August 11, 2021. I don't know when you might be watching or even whatever, but um, when this video is originally dropping, Megan breach will be the links. That could change in the future, of course, um, but that's the deal there. Uh, if you want to support the channel, there's Patreon in the description. If you want to, I have a Discord server if you want to check that out, and there's a bunch of other stuff too. Um, not really a whole lot else to say on that front, but I definitely am enjoying Teen Titans, and it's been a fun ride, but at the same time, I'm also kind of excited to finish it. I feel like it's gone on long enough, and I am ready to see what the season finale, or uh, kind of series finale, and then the series finale. I don't even know how to kind of define that, but the, the season five finale and the movie are both going to be really interesting. I'm excited for both of them. And I'm just curious to see how it goes. It should be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really excited for those last two reactions. Um, I am actually derping. I actually have watched um, some other stuff after that. Uh, what was episode eight? I remember episode or episode nine. Oh, yes. Episode nine was revved up. That was the racing episode with Ding Dong Daddy. What a ridiculous name. Triple D. Um, but... Um, yeah, that was fun. I mean, that was about going after um, he somehow stole a secret uh, briefcase of Robin's that has some sort of secret and they had to race to get it back. And eventually Robin does reacquire the briefcase and decides to share the contents with the other members of the Teen Titans. And the, sh the, the episode cuts off when he shows it to them. So we, the viewers, do not actually get to see what was in the briefcase, but the other Titans do. And it's really interesting because then the next episode, season five, episode 10, which was Go, does not pick up from there, or does not just kind of move on, neither. It actually was an origin story for how the Titans initially got together, and it was basically because Starfire was being savage and various other things happened. But the point is, is it was an origin story for the Teen Titans, and it was pretty great. Um, it was really cool. I think it was really weird to have it literally like right before the end of the series but it's cool that we got it at all and I'm definitely excited for the rest of the show and um knowing that they did that which is something that I felt like they should have done it didn't have to be the first episode of the series but I was hoping that you know I remember early on it, it, once we finished the first season I was like okay maybe in season two or even season three we might get the origin episode And I hadn't really thought about it for a while. And I really didn't think we would get an origin episode. But as it turns out, we get an origin episode right near the end, which is strange. But again, better late than never. It was the same thing. It was a theme in this set because I talked about it with Jinx getting focused. Same thing. Like, I feel like she should have got a lot more focus in the series, but better late than never. And same with this origin story episode i feel like it should have been if not the beginning of the series maybe in season two or three but again better late than never and now we're sitting with three episodes in a movie to go teen titans is almost over and uh yeah given the way that i'll be doing the owl house season two part one we will be finishing teen titans before the owl house which means we will be 
starting the Dragon Prince. That is the next series on the channel. The Dragon Prince will be slightly before Invincible, as those are the next two uh, Western series, and we'll be starting pretty close to each other. Um, as the Dragon Prince will be the Teen Titans replacement, and once we finish Season 2 Part 1 of the Owl House, that will be replaced with Invincible. So both of those series are on the relatively near horizon. But I definitely had a lot of fun with this um, set. And yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, all three episodes were good in their own way. And I'm just really excited to finish the show, see what this finale is all about. Kind of expecting a three-parter or a two-part or either a three. I mean, certainly it's very possible that episode 11 is just an episode and then 12 and 13 are um, the finale, but I don't think that'll be the case, especially given what episode 10 was the origin story. I feel like they literally gave us that right before the finale. So I think it's either going to be a three-parter like season four's finale or 11 and 12 are going to be a two-parter and then 13 is going to be an epilogue episode. I definitely think it's going to be one or the other. I don't know which way they're going to go about it, but I definitely think it's going to be one or the other. Like I said, definitely good stuff. Definitely something I really enjoyed, and I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. I had a lot of fun with it, and like I said, these Teen Titan reactions are almost over. So if you've been enjoying the series, hopefully you will um, cherish it because, like I said, we will be finishing Teen Titans pretty soon, maybe this month. Um, yeah, I mean, if I'm being consistent, it should be this month, I guess. Yeah, because. Yeah, I'm, yeah. so we'll be looking to hopefully finish Teen Titans this month, which is pretty wild to think about. But yeah, if everything goes, you know, according to plan, you know, we, we stay con you know, consistent like I have every plan to do. I mean, I'm, I'm going on a trip pretty soon where I'm not going to be recording for like four days and I fully plan to hopefully still be having daily videos for you guys. In fact, I just recorded, um, I recorded the Teen Titans set, but then right after I recorded multiple outhouse sets so i have the one that i need in a little while but i also have the one that won't actually go up until actually when i'm on my trip so i am kind of on the recording grind to you know get not only to stay consistent with the daily uploads but also to get far enough ahead for for when i have my trip which is not a super long trip like i said uh but when i'm on my trip you guys will still be getting daily videos then and hopefully we just keep rocking with daily videos because after that trip, I don't think I'll be doing anything of, 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 you know, anything where I'm gone for multiple days for the rest of the year. And then that should just be a really easy grind. And I really am going to try. I mean, I'm li like all jokes aside about having a perfect month, which I haven't had, in, you know, and I don't even know if I've ever had a perfect month, but I'm really trying to, obviously August started out with me not posting videos, but from that one video where this streak started with Dung and Rampa, I'm actually literally... I'm just going to try to be like con as consistent as possible from that point on. And I really, truly in my heart believe that it's going to happen this time and that, that we're really doing this and it's, it's all good. And, um, I'm doing what I can. Like I said, I really think this is different. So I really think we're going to be getting through shows a bit quicker and you guys are just going to be getting consistent content for the foreseeable future. I'm hoping at least for the rest of the year, you know, I don't know what my plans necessarily look like IRL for 2022, but after this one trip that's coming up in August in later in August, I don't have anything for the rest of the year. So unless like emergency happens, of course, but uh, yeah, I'm really excited for all that, but Regardless, Teen Titans season five episodes eight to 10 good stuff. Hope you guys enjoy the reaction. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say, so we'll probably just sign off here. I feel like my last couple reviews have been in the nine, in between nine and ten minutes, and it looks like this one's also going to be in between nine and ten minutes, so that's kind of weird. We'll see. I'm about to record two more reviews, so we'll see if those reviews also fit in that time period, or if they're smaller or longer. Um, I try to get to a certain point. I don't want them to be too short because then I think it's kind of sus, but occasionally they're on the shorter side, whatever. Anyways, Flame and Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.